Hey everybody, it's Jason Shadrick with Premier Guitar and we are at the Summer NAMM Show in Nashville, Tennessee and we are in the Gretsch booth with our good buddy Mr. Gretsch himself, Joe Carducci. And we are looking at two special signature models you guys brought to the show. And this first one here is the Steve Warner model. So tell us, uh, and it's, Mr. we were talking before that these two, this and the Rich Robinson, kind of from a distance look very similar, but there's a lot under the hood with each one that is going to be different we're going to talk about. So tell us about the Steve Warner one here first. Absolutely. We know Steve Warner is, uh, is country royalty here in Nashville. And, uh, and the guitar is appropriately called the Nashville Gentleman, which Steve Warner truly is. An amazing guitar player, a wonderful all-around person, vocalist, and again, a fabulous guitar player. And uh, we worked closely with Steve to get everything that he wanted. Uh, it is a uh, Nashville-style Gretsch guitar, 16-inch bout. Uh, it's, a, it's the signature recipe of the basic construction. It's three-ply maple top, back, and sides. It's got sealed top. It's made to play loud with trestle bracing, uh, ebony fretboard with uh, a pinned ebony bridge. Uh, True Arc Bridge uh, bar, that uh, rocking bar bridge that matches the radius of the fretboard. Uh, what else we got here? Locking tuners. Yep. And uh, if you look closely, it's got a kind of a black sparkle finish yeah. to it. He calls it black magic <laughs> as the color. Uh, TV Jones uh, Duotron pickup in the neck. Uh, the classic... Uh, uh, TV Jones in the bridge position. He likes to keep things real simple, as he said. Right. So it's got the uh, traditional master volume here, three position selector switch. Now, the, what gets tricky here is the tone, master tone, tone control has a push pull feature that changes both pickups from dual coil to single coil. Okay. Let's, hear we get a, let's hear some of that. So here's the uh, classic double coil here. <laughs> Of course, traditionally single coil pickups have a little less output, yeah. but again, that, Those are that matched pretty well, actually. Absolutely, and again, you get that uh, barking type uh, trebly sound yeah. for uh, chicken picking. Just a wonderful instrument, and uh, it's. There you have it. It's awesome. And what will be pricing and availability on this one? Uh, we're going to start shipping them. Uh, uh, our first shipment is going to be arriving later this month. Okay. And more is coming on the way. It's a, it's a model that's going to live in the line, kind of like our Chet Atkins and Strake mm -hmm. and the uh, Brian Setzer models, where they'll just live in our, it's not limited production. And uh, uh, street price is about $3,700. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's a, a wonderful, play it's a player's guitar. Yeah, yeah, right. All right, well, let's swap out for the Rich Robinson one, and we'll talk about that. Okay. The interesting thing that struck me first when I was looking at these is that you said the, the F-holes on that on Steve's guitar are sealed. Right. And these are not, obviously, and it just seems to me like when I think Steve Warren and Rich Robinson, who's going to be louder? <laughs> I probably am kind of be Team Robinson maybe a little bit on, on that on that vote. But tell us kind of what Rich is looking for in this model. Absolutely. As, as, as Rich had stated, that uh, once the, uh, the the band was taken off and he finally was starting to get some money in his pocket, <laughs> the very first guitar he bought was a Gretsch White Falcon. Mm. And uh, this is the Magpie uh, model from our custom shop. Mm -hmm. uh, it's going to be limited production this year. Uh, it's got a solid spruce top. And the three-ply maple top, back, and sides. It's gently a relic. Yeah. Grover Imperial tuners. It has all the uh, uh, Falcon-style bling sparkle on it. Really beautiful guitar. Big 17-inch bout. And uh, it's a traditional setup of a master volume for each pickup and a master tone here. And, of course, here's our, masters, our gas pedal and master volume here. All right, Joe, let's go through some of the sounds on this one. So what kind of, first before we start, what kind of pickups are these? These are TV Jones, uh, uh, Broadtron pickups. This, uh, the neck pickup has an Alnico 5 magnets. And uh, this is a TV Jones classic on this side. Okay. And again, a solid spruce top. Uh, really, really beautiful instrument. Yeah, let's go through some of the sounds here.
And you know, part of the package that comes with the guitar, you get a, uh, a the Magpie uh, vinyl. It comes the with the record, yes. It comes also with some Rich Robinson signature picks. Oh, you use the big ones? Uh, not this. This is my, this is mine. <laughs> <laughs> and also comes with a Rich Robinson signature a Dunlop slide as well. Oh, it's yeah. tapered style. Fits on your That's ring finger. Uh, it's a really wonderful pack. Magpie salute starter kit. There you go. All right, Joe, tell us about pricing and availability for the Rich Robinson model here. Well, they're just going to be making them uh, uh, from our custom shop. There's going to be limited quantities, uh, and uh, they're starting to build them already. We should have more coming later on this year. Uh, retail price is about twelve grand. Mm -hmm. Start there, and uh, there you have it. Excellent. All right, Joe, thanks again. We're going to have you play us out. This is Jason Shadrick with Premier Guitar. <laughs> Thank you.